Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going to go through a very classic algorithm called merge sort. The idea of merge sort is basically to divide and conquer. You divide the given array into the minimal individual items so that you can compare two items at one time and eventually merge all of the sorted subarrays into the final output. So first we'll use a visualization to see how the divide and conquer really works and then we'll go through step by step how we can implement the code and then we'll analyze the time and space complexity. That's the idea for this video. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Suppose we're given this random array. How can we sort them using merge sort, divide and conquer? First, we divide the first half. So we got 6531. Then we continue to divide because this is not individualized items yet. We cannot compare. Continue to divide 6 and 5. We always chop them into half and we take care of the very first half. Always the very first, 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 first. Now 6 and 5. At this level, these two items are individualized so that we can compare 6 and 5. We do, we can compare in this case, right? So what's the right order for 6 and 5? So it should be 5 and 6. So we put them in the sorted order. So after we have finished this level, we can go back to this level. This level we have sorted, and then we go back to here, 3 and 1. So we divide this, 3 and 1. So 3 and 1 could be divided into 3 and 1. There's two individualized items. What's the correct order of 3 and 1? It should be 1 and 3, right? So now you see we have these two subarrays that are sorted by themselves. But these two, if they are combined, they are not sorted yet. This is where the word merge sort, merge, comes into play. We need to merge these sorted subarrays. So, but it will be a lot easier because every single individual array subarrays has already been sorted. So we every time we only need to check the front element of this individual sorted subarrays. So we can easily merge these two sorted arrays by always comparing two elements, the two front elements, right? So we can do one, we take one, one is smaller than five, and then we compare now three becomes the front element of this array. So three is still smaller than five. So three comes here. Then we simply copy everything from the first subarray into this merged subarray, five and six. So we have a merged subarray for the first half. This first half is done, right? Then after we have merged sorted the first half, we can come back in actual code. It's going to be a recursive call. We'll run the code in just a few seconds. Now we come back to this visualizing the second half, eight, seven, two, four. We have to deal with this. Now divide. So we divide eight, seven, two, four. We take care of the first half, eight, seven. Divide them, eight, seven. So we'll solve eight and seven, these two individualized items, seven and eight, right? Seven, eight. These are the two correct sorted items in order. Then we'll come back to this level. We'll divide two and four. 2 and 4, divide them into in individualized items that can compare. So 2 and 4, they are in order already. Now, again, we come back to here. We need to merge these two sorted subarrays into one merged sorted subarray. Again, these two are sorted, so we can always compare only the two front elements of these two sorted subarrays, which makes things very easy. 2 and 7, which one is smaller? 2. Then 4 and 7, which one is smaller? 4. Then we can simply copy 7 and 8 into this remainder of this merged sorted subarray. 7 and 8. Alright, now we have the second half sorted already. 2, 4, 7 and 8. And also we have the first half sorted. 1, 3, 5, 6. Again, so now we have the two halves of this given original input array sorted. What are we going to do? We'll just merge these two sorted subarrays into one final output. The beauty of this is that these two subarrays are already sorted. One, three, five, six, this is sorted. Two, four, seven, eight, this is also sorted. So again, every time when we try to merge these two sorted subarrays, we only need to compare the front element of each of these two sorted arrays. That's the beauty of merge sort. So what we'll do is one, one comes down here. Now, next one is two. Two is smaller than three. Two comes down. Next one is three, then four. Compare five and seven, which one is bigger? Which one is smaller? Five. So six and seven, which one is smaller? Six. 
now we'll just copy the remainder since this one is this array this subarray is already empty we can just copy the remainder of this one into this array because it's sorted already now we got the final output which is one two three four five six seven eight this is the entirely sorted array this is how merge sort really works now let's put the idea into actual code see how we can implement this now let's put the merge sort theory into the actual java code let's see how it, it's going to work let's implement it so first we want to have a variable called n i'll just call it n which is the length of this given input array since i'm going to use this n many times so first we want to check if n is smaller than 2 which means it's either 0 or 1 then we can simply just return the array because it's either 0 or 1 element we don't need to do any sort next what we will do is that first step divide and conquer first step is always divide so we want to divide divide into half right so we'll create a variable called middle mid this mid is n divided by 2 and then we'll divide this original input array into two parts two halves right so we'll have a left side which is called left and then this the length of this is going to be mid and the other one is called right and the length of this is going to be mid minus n minus mid I hope this makes sense because say n is 4 or n is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this one is going to be 4 and this one is going to be 4 as well. But just in case if n is an odd number, see n is 9, 9 divided by 2 is going to be 4. So this left half is going to be 4, but this right half is going to be 5. So the lengths of these two subarrays may not always be equal. So that's why we need to use n minus mid here. Then we'll assign the original input into these left and the right. So these are the temporary arrays. So we'll talk about space complexity in just a few minutes. Now we'll assign this from zero all the way up to mid. We'll assign this to the left subarray. Right? This is, we will fill the left subarray from the given input from zero index all the way up to the mid index this is how the left subarray is going to be filled next what we'll do is we will fill the right subarray instead of starting from zero we should start from mid i is smaller than n which is the boundary of the original input length now right is going to be i minus mid because the right index will always start from zero but since this i doesn't start from zero we need to minus mid and then this array is i all right now since we have divided these uh, this original input into two halves are they divided into individualized items already no it's not this is the base case of the merge of this recursion right so we need to continue to divide so we need to continue to divide left subarray and right subarray as we saw in the visualization we continue to divide until these items cannot be divided anymore they are individualized just one item in that subarray all right left and right then after this at this moment what we will do is that we will implement the merge function which is a critical function in this entire merge sort algorithm now let's see what do we need we'll take the original input array and then we'll take the left subarray and right subarray and we'll also have a boundary for the left and the right the boundary for the left subarray is going to be mid the boundary for the right subarray is going to be n minus mid right and then in the end we'll just return array so now let's implement this this merge function right right yes this one is left quite we'll left boundary this one is right boundary all right how we can implement this merge function is very straightforward since these two subarrays are already sorted right we can just put them into the correct order of the merged array that's it so what we'll do is we'll initialize three indices first one is called we'll just call it left index start from zero 
second one is called right index we we'll also start from zero third one is called array index this is the final merged arrays index always start from zero so we'll have three while loops the first while loop is when both subarrays are not empty yet so what we will have is left index is smaller than left boundary and right index is smaller than right boundary in this case what we will do is we will as i said we will compare the two front elements of each of the sort of subarray so very easy what we will do is so if left left index is smaller than or equal to you can be exactly small or smaller than or equal to it doesn't matter because they are equal and then right right index if this is the case we will use the left side so assign this array index that in increment it and then left 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 index increment left index as well not equal it's assigned right this is when because this is the the front element in the left subarray is smaller than or equal to the front element at the right index at the right subarray so we will assign the smaller one which is the one in the left subarray to the final merged array otherwise we'll use let me just copy this otherwise we will use the right index right index in the right subarray right this is when this is the case when both sort of subarray are not empty yet and if this condition doesn't hold that means either one of the sorted subarray is already empty what are we going to do very easy we'll just fill the remainder of the one sorted subarray that hasn't been emptied yet into the final merged array okay so we'll do this while left index is smaller than left boundary we'll continue to just copy this continue to assign the left front element into the merged array until the left boundary is reached so similarly we can do this for the right index right index and smaller than right boundary what we will do is we'll right index we'll keep incrementing right index until we reach the end of the right subarray that's it this is the entire algorithm now let me quickly hit run and to see if there is any compile errors all right it works before sorting it is this after sorting is one two three four five six seven eight correct all right that's the idea of merge sort and how we can implement this now let's talk about time and space complexity time complexity for all three cases best case worst case and average case it's always going to be o n log n for merge sort that's why merge sort is pretty stable and the performance is very predictable because we always divide the entire input array into two until we can compare the two individualized items and then eventually we merge this merge function takes o n time because the two sorted subarrays are already sorted right so we can simply compare the front elements this merge takes o n time how about space complexity space complexity think about we always have the temporary subarrays to hold the elements right so we always need o n extra space since we always create temporary arrays in every recursive call all right that's about merge sort i hope this video does help you understand i have published the actual java code into my github i'll put a link to my github of this merge sort code in the description box below please definitely check it out and play around with it so that it can have a better and deep understanding of how much sort really works if you find this video helpful please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help a lot with the youtube algorithm and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we're going through a lot of classic interview and data structure problems and also lead code problems to help people better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews that's it for today's video um, i'll see you guys in the next one